This is the PodTrack P4 made by Zoom. Not that Zoom, we don't talk about that Zoom. But it's an affordable, portable audio interface that can be used with a USB-C cable and your computer. You can connect four in-person microphones and four headphones and has some powerful preamps that can run most microphones. I'm gonna walk you through how to set it up, do hybrid recording both to the SD card internally to this device and how to use this with Riverside to record both with remote guests and in-person guests. If you were recording in the field with a PodTrack P4, you could run this on AA batteries. It actually takes two right here in the back and you'll get several hours of recording. You can also power the device using this DC five volt input, which is also a USB-C port. Or if you connect it to a computer via USB-C, it will power it that way. I'm gonna plug it into my Mac using that port and a USB-C cable. And here on the other side, you'll see the power button. Click and hold that for a moment and you'll see the audio interface turns on. There's also an SD card slot on the left side and this is gonna be useful for recording multiple microphone inputs and even using it with Riverside for hybrid recording. It does take a full size SD card and we'll just close that flat. Now when it comes to audio interfaces, this is about $150 on Amazon. We'll put a link in the description, but it has some powerful mic preamps that can run something like a Shure SM7B right from this audio interface. I'm gonna plug in two microphones I'm gonna do the Shure SM7B here in mic one, and I'm gonna connect a Shure MV7 with a little Riverside windscreen right here into input two. Now for each microphone, you'll see a switch here under each knob. Each knob is the gain control or volume, and these two symbols down here mean dynamic microphone or if you need phantom power for a condenser microphone, also known as plus 48 volts. These are both dynamic microphones, so I'm gonna make sure these two switches are to the left. If you were to connect a condenser microphone, then you wanna switch these to the right for phantom power. Now inputs three and four can either be microphone inputs or input three can be from the eighth inch audio jack on the right side, like if you wanted to connect a phone, but we would recommend using Riverside to record with remote guests. And to do that, this fourth input, you wanna switch all the way to the right for USB audio. With this toggle all the way to the right, this will act as a USB device where you can hear remote guests through Riverside into headphones that you connect right here to the Zoom P4. And what's great is at the bottom of this device are four headphone jacks, so you can have up to four in-person guests. I'm gonna plug in a pair of wired headphones there, and we're almost ready to get started. Right now, all the knobs are at zero, meaning there's no volume. I'm gonna start talking into the Shure SM7B, and I'm gonna raise the gain knob until I see the levels on the meter start coming into focus. Once I see the levels for that microphone not hitting the very top, but about three quarters of the way up, then I'll leave that gain knob alone. Now, before we start using this for Riverside, we do need to jump into the menu and change our USB to mix minus. I'll hit the menu button here, then go down to settings. Hitting record is like hitting enter on the menu. Then I'm gonna go up to USB mix minus. Hit enter. I'm gonna go down and select on. This means that our remote guests won't hear themselves echoing back to them when we record. I can go back. And if you're going to also record multiple in-person guests, you can format the SD card by going to here in the menu, and then we'll click format. If I go up to execute, it will clear this card, delete any content on it, and make it possible to record using the PodTrack P4. And now the P4 is all set to record with Riverside. Here I've logged into my Riverside account and I'm gonna click go to studio to start recording. Here I can choose my camera, microphone, and speaker output. I've chosen my camera and here for microphone, I'm going to choose the Zoom P4 audio. I'm also gonna choose that for my audio out. Zoom P4 audio is both the microphone and the speaker. I'm gonna click I am using headphones because I've plugged them into the P4 and then I'll click join studio. Now that I'm in the studio, I'm gonna speak into the Shure SM7B and you can see the audio is being recorded through the P4 right here into my Riverside studio. That means we're good to go. As remote guests join, you'll also hear them through the P4 and your wired headphones. Now, one of the challenges with the Zoom PodTrack P4 is that when you use it as a USB audio interface, like we are now, it will only send a main out, which means if you have three microphones plugged into the PodTrack P4, Riverside is gonna record all of those microphones together. That's because the PodTrack P4 doesn't give you the ability to break out those channels as a USB device. If you're only using one microphone with Riverside, no problem. Your P4 is gonna go directly into Riverside and just your microphone will be recorded and then your remote guests will be recorded in Riverside as well. But if you have multiple in-person guests, like I have the Shure SM7B and the Shure MV7, both connected to the P4 right now, then I'll also wanna record directly to the SD card on device so I can get separate tracks for my in-person mics and still record in Riverside so I have a recording of all the microphones together for my side, but my remote guests will have a separate audio and video track 
from Riverside. When we're ready to record, I'll hit the record button here in the Riverside studio. We'll get the countdown and we're ready to record. I'm also gonna hit the record button here on the P4 and that means we're recording the in-person microphones on the SD card here on the pod track. And now we're recording our video content or podcast. It's being recorded directly into Riverside. And if you have multiple in-person mics, like I have here, the Shure SM7B, and I'm also using a Shure MV7, both of these into the pod track. These are both being recorded into the SD card and my remote guests are being recorded in Riverside. And again, if you just have one mic connected to the pod track P4, it all can be done in Riverside. You get a separate track and your remote guests and you're good to go. Now, when we're done recording, I'll hit the stop button at the bottom of the Riverside studio and I'll click stop here on the PodTrack P4. Once everything's finished uploaded, I can view the recordings in my Riverside studio. And if you have those multiple in-person microphones, you're gonna to wanna to take the SD card from your PodTrack P4 and put it in your computer. Once inserted into my computer, you'll see the multi-track file here and a folder for every recording session. And you'll see microphones one, two, and three, plus any of the sounds you use with buttons A, B, C, or D, which we didn't use any of those plus the USB audio was all recorded to the SD card in the PodTrack P4. So I have my separate mic tracks here on the SD card for any in-person guests. And I'll also have high quality audio and video files for myself and remote guests here in my Riverside studio. Of course, you could download the raw audio and raw video files for every track here from Riverside. And that's my audio file from Riverside using the PodTrack P4 as a USB audio interface. If you have any questions about using the PodTrack P4, leave comments below this video, I answer those personally. And we're gonna do an entire gear hub where we're covering audio interfaces, portable recorders. If there's a specific piece of gear you'd like to learn about, leave that in the comments below as well. We already have videos on things like the Rodecaster Duo and Pro 2, the Focusrite Vocaster 2. I'll put links to one of those videos right up here. And if you wanna learn more about using Riverside to record high quality video and audio with remote guests, I'll put a playlist right up here that shows you how to learn the Riverside platform and a lot of exciting features recently launched and even more coming soon. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you next time.